I got a question on my keto carnivore low carb high fat course page about coffee so I thought I'd, thought I'd talk about it let's see oh yeah the Sun is there so I gotta like block it how about if I roll my window down and then roll it up on this thing that'll work so you know we don't get that Sun glare <laughs> so smart okay Whew, let me drink some water as you guys get into the chat thought I'd just do a quick live what's up Yadira gotta get some water though now the coffee conversation is old for me but for some of you guys what's up Larry it's brand new so kind of rehashing some older subjects and kind of putting some twists on them. I know you dear, it's gonna be awesome. It's it's not on Saturday. I never have consultations on Saturday, it's on Sunday. Uh, I just have to correct that before the replay people come in. I don't have consultations on Saturdays. I have them on Sunday. Okay, coffee. A lot of people that I consult or that are on my course page still are drinking coffee. And I wanted to sort of go through what happens when you're trying to keto adapt or trying to do coffee on a carnivore diet, um, how that affects the body, and to give you guys sort of a bigger understanding of why I am so not for it. All right, here we go. So, okay. Um, for example, a lot of my consultations, I had a consultation recently where the woman was like, I only, you know, only do one cup. They always say that, I only do one cup. Uh, okay, typo. Uh, I only do one cup or I only, can I have one espresso? Gosh, I'm just getting it a lot lately. A lot of you guys have, let's say, if we put you into a couple of categories, like um, you've got adrenal fatigue, you are your electrolytes are jacked, you're chronic, chronically dehydrated, you've got poor lymphatic systems, so you're always swollen all the time, especially in the legs. Um, a lot of you guys uh, maybe don't want to drink coffee, but you'll have like a night job and. You'll need coffee, you think, to wake you up in the morning. And then a lot of people say that you love it. These are all the camps, all this stuff I always hear. Or um, what else do people say? Um, oh, it's got antioxidants in it, or it's the best way I can get my fat in. I don't know, but let's break it down. So coffee, the coffee bean or the coffee berry, um, basically, it the caffeine in it sends a signal to your adrenals which are right there in the back and your adrenals are like these little tiny green pea things and it sends a signal to your adrenal system to pump out adrenaline and so the body has no clue that i'm sitting at a freaking gas station parking lot okay child my body thinks that I'm off in Waluba, Waluba, Africa, somewhere living outside. So if I have a cup of coffee, it's an instant adrenal response. You guys are very heavy adrenal responders. You're very, so you've got adrenaline, norepinephrine, norepinephrine, and then you have cortisol. So a lot of you guys are just sitting and bathing in cortisol. That, my friends, is the problem. If you were to have coffee every once in a while, I probably wouldn't even blink at it. It's like, who cares? you know, like, oh gosh, like I've got to do a drive across the States and I just can't make it. I need a coffee or I'm flying an airplane. I don't know. Um, but it's sending that signal for your body to do, to produce cortisol. Now we typically really slather our stuff, our, our life in cortisol. And people don't understand how fracked up cortisol will just destroy you. Cortisol is good. It can wake you up in the morning. It can give you that energy. But the problem is we're, we're bathing in it. We're like just freaking drinking cortisol all day long. And that 
is one massive piece in the puzzle of you guys trying to take your body to the next level. It's stress, cortisol, and the inability to function properly. So when you drink coffee, it's got a half-life of eight hours. Now, some people have a half-life of more than that, 10 hours. You can't clear it out of your system. So your body, uh, I have a question, did people put low-carb butter on a, on Okay, honey child, there's no carbs in butter, so you might want to rephrase that question. I need a little bit more mental, uh, you know, challenge. So, um, you guys are super cortisol. Hey, Angel. Super cortisol driven, and you have no clue. People are like, I'm so relaxed, I'm so zen, and I'm like, you're not relaxed. Nobody is. No one is. If you are literally like... Well, I would say almost no one because any type of, I mean, I'm here at a gas station because there's a, there's a cell phone tower around here. So I'm going to get all of the pollution, the, the, the cell phone noise, cell phone tower noise, if you get my drift. And um, uh, we're constantly being around stuff that is very stressful to the body and the body doesn't understand poison, chemicals. You know, it doesn't understand all that stuff. It only sees that you're being chased by a lion, and that's the end of the day. That I mean, that's the end of that. You can't you can't do anything about it. No matter if you think you're zen, you're not. All it takes is one negative thought, and your gastric juices percolate or lower. You can't digest your food very well. Um, people have this instant blood sugar dysregulation, inflammatory reaction. So then, when you drink coffee and you've got freaking eight mother flucking hours. To clear it out and you're already running from a line that's why people don't ever heal that's the reason why people are like you know they don't understand that how are you supposed to drop the weight fix your thyroid men get your testosterone back where it should be because 60 over 60 percent of the men out there have low testosterone what the frack I hate being the man and woman I wish that, you know, I could just, I could just be the woman, but no, no, so many guys are, are wussyified, I can't, with it. it really bothers me, and so it's different when you don't know, and then, and then you figure it out, you're like, all right, time to get my testosterone back up, men, women, time to get my hormones back in balance, but people just keep destroying their body. So there's this concept called a uh, little physio physiological re reaction called pregnenolone steel, where cortisol drops from your sex tree. I'm not even kidding. It takes from pregnenolone and then it goes down to DHEA. Once your DHEA is out of balance, men, you get that low testosterone, you start turning into a woman. And, and for other, more reasons like xenoestrogens and a poor functioning liver. But coffee is really hard on the body. It's hard on your stomach lining, right? It's very acidic. And you guys are already having inflammatory stuff in your digestive tract. It's hard on the mucus lining and your pipes and your stomach everywhere. That's why you can't do six cups at once without having a stomach ache. It's a diuretic. So a lot of you guys are just, your electrolytes on low carb, keto, carnivore, low carb, high fat, destroyed, horrible. And don't you guys, don't forget, uh, you can ask questions at any time, but I'm really glad that you're listening. Uh, but um, a lot of you guys are, let me see, Vanessa says I quit coffee for the third time. And let me see, third time last month and got massive headache. I'm going, wait, see, I'm not, hold on, I'm not going back this time. Done with coffee. So the great thing about the massive headache not the great thing how to fix it is people swear by an amino amino acid called l-tyrosine l-tyrose t-y-r-s-o-i-n-e and or d-l-p-a it takes down the sort of i'm quitting coffee flu symptoms like massive headache the dehydration the just feeling really bad so you guys go online and look for l-tyrosine i mean i didn't i've never quit had to quit coffee but people i've I've been coaching people for years now, right? I've been doing this for 14, coaching for 12. So yes, through just 
you know, osmosis and all the people you start to hear consistently, this works, this works. So try that, Vanessa. I tried better coffee recently. I'm actually not sure why I still drink coffee. <laughs> I really, it really doesn't do anything for me just to have it, I guess. Well, sort of, Larry, um, your body gets used to, it gets sort of immune to the uh, the feeling of the caffeine effect, but it's still creating an adrenal response even though you don't feel it. It just literally does. So your body is still probably craving that adrenal response, sort of the physiological body brain that you're not aware of but it's a diuretic and it, uh, it lowers your L-tyrosine. That's why people take it better. And it, it takes so long to clear out of the body that people don't understand that even though they've taken it hours ago, it's a big reason why they can't sleep. And then it's a diuretic. So you guys are having a very difficult time in two ways, absorbing your minerals as well as keeping your electrolytes in balance. So when people tout how great it is, they like skip all those details for some reason. <laughs> they just don't talk about it. Why don't they talk about it? Probably because they drink coffee themselves and they're trying to find some ridiculous antioxidant benefits or some vasodilation or some brain health. It's not good for you. It's hard on the adrenal response. People who've got high blood sugar, which dysregulates your blood sugar because of the gluconeogenesis response from the cortisol, or people have got high blood pressure. It's not a smart idea to drink this stuff. Like you need to drink some water. A lot of you guys are dehydrated. Um, what's a good alternative to coffee? Water. I'm trying to take you guys back to being a real human. Um, let's see here. Uh, is decaf any better? No, there's still caffeine left in decaf. And decaf, if it's not water pressed, they use benzyl chloride. It's like cancer causing awful chemical. I don't know what you guys, time to just quit the stuff. If you guys want to improve your health exponentially and not get old with the dehydrating your skin and breaking down the, the, the you know, catering to the leaky gut, it's got mycotoxins on it. It's got glyphosate on it. It's just awful. It's just disgusting. It's so bad for your digestive system. I don't know why people just persist to drink stuff and then like get plastic surgery when they start aging and their skin's all dehydrated. I'm always deficient in sodium. That's why I had to stop the coffee. Facts. Coffee demineralizes you. You guys can't, can't hold on to your minerals. You're dehydrated. Your electrolytes get whacked out. And people don't understand how important their electrolytes are. They don't understand how their adrenal system is. And so I'm just trying to encourage people to get off of it and like put on your big Superman and Wonder Woman freaking underwear and do what you need to do to get the job done. Vivian says, I've been having coffee with MCT oil during my, and during my fasts, fast for years now. I mean last, fast for years now. I've made decisions to stop fasting. Oh having coffee with my MCT oil during, which MCT oil, oil is just useless, during my fast or fasting for years now. I've made the decision to stop fasting and start eating because of you. Aw, that's awesome. Stephanie, I'm 57. Coffee is my next thing to stop. That's what's up. You 57, yo. You don't want to like dehydrate your skin, make y'all wrinkly. Mm-mm, child. No. Time to move on. I quit soda in 2009. I'm sure I can kick the coffee. Yeah, Larry, you got it. You got it. You guys can kick it. It's time. Y'all, you know, I keep saying we live in a crazy world these days. And I mean, I just, I just think people should get back to nature as most best that they can, right? Learn how to use the body like you've never used it before and be freaking badass. I love getting older because you guys know I'm turning 54 in days. And I don't have time to get old. I'm sorry. Mm -mm, child. No. Okay, see. Jim says, I quit regular coffee in my... What's regular? What are you drinking? Not rare? Is there irregular coffee? I quit. <laughs> I quit regular coffee in my early 20s. I still drink oh, decaf now. It's junk. Cancer-causing nasty. 
in my 40s for the flavor of organic, not chemically chemically processed. Caffeine makes me extremely anxious and decaf does not. Decaf still has caffeine in it. You're still still acidic. It still keeps your leaky gut. It still has the mycotoxins on it. <laughs> um, it still has all that crap on it. So I would just stop. It's still dehydrating your skin. Wait, let me see here. Does electrolyte imbalance cause varicose veins? Probably. <clears throat> because magnesium has so much to do with all hormones and all types of stuff in your body. Probably because you've been eating a standard American diet and standing or sitting too long as well. Uh, Ari says, I did quit co coffee, coffee, months ago, I feel much better, now able to achieve deep sleep, that's what I'm saying, people aren't getting the deep sleep, I quit coffee three and a half months ago, feel good, and I don't miss it, I don't miss it, don't miss the coffee, yeah, I mean, the, I mean, I've quit a lot of stuff, like, I just don't care, I just want to wake up with energy. I want to wake up and look in the mirror and go, yep, you still look like Stephanie. Um, I want to just have fun. I want to, I want to, you know, maximize my genetic poten potential, be strong mentally, physically, emotionally. I want to feel balanced. Um, yeah, you know, I don't want to have a drop in serotonin, which drops your melatonin. I want to make ketones. I don't want my blood sugar to be all over the place. Uh, I'm able to eat more fat, but I'm waking up around 3 a.m. Am I not eating enough fat or should I incorporate? Okay, so Chase, there's a lot of things to waking up at 3. It could be your gallbladder trying to release bile. It could be because you have a hypo, hypoglycemic response and you're not adapting while trying to do keto. But uh, Chase, you're on my course page aren't you not eating enough fat or should I incorporate carbs for dinner no 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 no. if you're gonna do carbs do carbs you're gonna do keto do keto there's no I'm not gonna eat carbs all day no you can't do that yeah well ask you need to honey I don't see you there asking the question you need to come to my lives you need to go ask questions on Tuesdays because I'll be there for you but I'd say um um welcome to such a safe as they for the content oh thank you coach Darren Darren, do I see a face diaper on your profile picture, honey child? Mm. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, but thank you. I'm so bad. Uh, it's on Tuesdays, but I keep missing it. Don't miss it. You, you can ask Tuesday and Wednesday. But because I'm not really sure, like, if you're having a gallbladder issue... You know, I'm not sure if you're having a hypoglycemia. A lot of people wake up for those two reasons. So I'm not sure. Mainly the blood sugar. So it's it could be because you're not eating enough fat, which means you're not adapting, which means you're hypoglycemic, but I'm not sure. looking at some of the questions and comments so um, I just I, I really like to do these lives and sort of interact with you guys and explain to you some of the things that I see in people because I work with so many people and I keep I think the common red threads are that people don't have enough energy and so people don't understand the adrenal system and how that's connected to the thyroid and the chronic fatigue that you guys are experiencing is like gnarly crazy. And there are, it, the coffee industry just makes so much money. So when you Google something, you're gonna get all like pro coffee articles because all these companies feed the internet with all this pro coffee because the antioxidant, but most of it's in the roasting process, most of it has been just it's cooked away so it's time you got to get rid of the coffee you know it's really hard to adapt keto adapt when your blood sugar is dysregulated and that's what it does it tells your adrenal glands make some 
make some uh some uh, adrenaline, norepinephrine, cortisol, and then like run like crazy from a lion all day long. That's not good for you. I know. Well, you know what it is because before I could, this, uh, uh, the comment with Phil says, you really are spoiling us with these live streams. It's because when I got thunder, I just literally had no time. I would have, to, I lived in Hollywood. I'd get in my car and I would drive, drive to the edge of the Burbank, Burbank mountains. And I had this, um, I had this uh, abused horse, so he was just awful. And that's why we need to like, oh yeah, like up this stream, guys. I like up my videos. Um, but I would drive there and I just, I when I'm dedicated to something, I'm psycho dedicated. And I would just kind of put my whole business on the back burner. And all I did was need to get this horse to where he was not dangerous and to where he was happy. And uh, so when I moved to Texas, I was like, I want to be able to leave him in a, in a thank you, Jim. Uh, that's why I wanted to leave him. I like Chase. Chase's question about waking up early in the AM. I have the same problem if it's because of blood sugar. What can I do? Can be done. Okay, Vanessa, that's a great question. Before I, I'll go back a little bit thunder. But um, a lot of people are waking up because they're not eat, They skip meals and they they don't understand that they live in like a stress ball so that de destabilizes your blood sugar even more and you're not consistent with your diet and so you go to bed your blood sugar drops and the reason why you wake up is because your body it's the kind of emergency button so your body doesn't go into a coma and this is legit so you get slammed up with the wake-up hormone cortisol it's so strong sometimes it's so powerful that you either have a hard time falling asleep or you're waking up you can't go back to sleep so I would need to know, Vanessa, like, how do you eat? Do you eat every couple of hours? Do you skip meals? I just don't know. But I go live often to teach you guys, but also to remind you that I do consultations and that I have a course page. Or you can go to my Instagram, which is Stephanie Ketogenic, and you can get free information there. Or you can go and sign up for these uh, areas where I really dedicate a lot of my time to really finding out what's going on with you guys. Um, green juices, vegetables help me to overcome coffee withdrawals, such as headaches. Ari, I'm really sorry, but that would be the worst solution for people who've got histamine intolerance. Green juices have oxalates in them. They're so bad. Some people with histamine get so bloated. I'm glad it worked for you, but that's not a good response for other people. Nope, 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 nope. It's to get your electrolytes back in order and uh, drink some salt water as well as you're trying to get off coffee. Um, waking up, up, but it's stress related. Well, Marianne, that's cortisol. So cortisol, you know, can be can be stress. It can be blood sugar imbalance. The coffee withdrawal headaches suck, but it's worth it. And then the odd coffee now and again is really nice when you're not addicted. Yes, Phil, but most people are. They really are, and they think that. It's their mind that controls. They're like, I'm not addicted. I just like the taste. I mean, it's, it's nonsense. The body becomes highly addicted to anything that's a stimulant. And so it's your body that tells your brain to like the smell, the aroma, the, the making of it, the process, the taste. It's not the inverse. It's not your brain telling your body to, to crave it. Steph, not a coffee question, but no, it doesn't have to be coffee, you guys. You can ask whatever you want. It's not a coffee question, but I'm wondering your opinion on getting... You know, you guys, we can't talk about this stuff. You see Chelsea's answer? N to the mother sucking O, O, triple, quadruple to the hell. Uh-uh. That's what I think. I know a lot. I wish more people would do research like I do, but they don't. You can use those words on this stuff, you know. We live in, in the friggin' control fever moment. And we're alive, too. Live, live, all the way live. Head yeah, to the net. Mm-mm, child. Mm-mm. Y'all, please, like, oh my god, I wish people would do more research. So many people get mad at me. They're like, oh my God, there's people all over the place. Like, you know, 
passing to the other side, I'm like, do some freaking research. Okay. All right. Steph's back. Let's get back to keto. I do. And I totally agree. Texas is the place to be. That's right. That's why I came here. The fact that I even moved from Cali to Texas should answer your question. (laughs) Oh yeah, Vivian, you you just got to stop. Yo, it's totally like, they're like this. This is what they're like. Follow the pendulum. I, I, I shite you not. They like this. Go to the Maxine Waters. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> it's so funny because I, I, I talked about it on my course page and then I was being silly about it. And one of my moderators, like, she thought I was just really like naive and kind of dumb on the subject. And we had a talk about her moderating, 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 moder, it's not OT, moderating my course page. And we got on the subject of this whole thing. And she thought I was, because she's like, she thought I was being like kind of stupid. So then I began to tell her some stuff. She didn't listen. So I pull up my phone and I show her what this very credible doctor starts. I was like, she don't believe me. I was like, I just put the phone up to the, to the camera on my computer and I played the video and she was like, she was like, I said, I got more. She's like, she goes, I'm scared now. And I go, I'm not trying to scare you, but you should be scared, honey child. It, It like, I changed her in a second. When you just say it, it's one thing. But when somebody else is credible says the same thing, they're like, oh, okay. I can't want to talk about this stuff anymore because I don't want to get my channel in trouble and all that nonsense. You had to get out of New York, right? CC fitness. You get me right. Dap. No dap. Totally. I mean, I really wish I could answer these questions for real. I would just enjoy babbling my head off about it. But, you know, I feel like I was getting out, getting out a lot of thoughts. But if I feel more tired, I'm like waking up around haze since my doctor adjusted my thyroid meds again. Larry, oh gosh, it's time, it's a, it's time for a strategy to get you off those thyroid meds. Are you on thyroxin? Are you on Synthroid on your arm? Are you on armor or nature thyroid? We got to get you off this stuff. Fact that there is no public. Yeah, I agree. Was it cure Solon? But people don't see it. Oh, talk about the frog cooking in the friggin, you know, bone broth pot. Yo. Okay, since I stopped coffee and then I had one like two months later, I had anxiety so bad. Never again. Boom. That is Hazel. I got to find you and pin that comment. Oh, no. You know what, Hazel? On on the comments under my video, like because this is just on the live comments on my actual video when it uploads. Can you write that same thing? I want to pin it, please. That's a great comment. Exactly, dear. Yeah, dear. Loving going over your videos for five years ago. Very informative. Best ideas at eating. Uh, when I look at myself five years ago, or even longer, the videos longer ago. I mean, you could just see that I wasn't as healthy as I am now. In that every day you learn something better and something more amazing to make your health just. You know, the light bulbs go off still every year. Thank you, Hazel. Level thyroxine. Yeah, let's get you off that, Larry. It's time to get off. <laughs> How do we call them lemmings? <laughs> uh, jumping off the cliff. I just, you know, it's going to take about, I think, about three years for all of this stuff to just correct itself, right? With the balance of nature coming back. 
But yo, we're going to have some headaches for the next three years. And um, I just, I've been done crying about it. You know, my mom, I told her not to. She did it. And, you know, it's just, I, I just, you know, I've just, hey, I got to keep myself and my horse my horse thunder healthy that's 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 what matters these days some mornings my blood sugar is in the low 80s that's fine and some days it's in the high 90s that's not fine and I can't figure out why Uh, because you're not sleeping well and typically when people have a like they just don't get enough deep REM cycles throughout the night they wake up and that could be anything from that day before so because I don't know you, I can't narrow it down. But I, when I talk to people one-on-one in my consultations, I can narrow down their issues in seconds. It's just because I've worked with so many people and we're so similar all as human beings. So it's easy to figure out. But we are 31 minutes into this. I think I should probably go. You guys, there's 41 people in the house. Wow, thanks, you two. <laughs> thanks for allowing my nearly 100,000. I passed my 100,000 mark and then they toggled me down. Uh, for everybody to find me, but uh, don't forget to like up the stream, even people on the um, replay, uh, just because it's, I'm working my butt off. I've been um, being, what well, I've, I've been, I guess I've been carnivore for two years, now getting ra- uh, radish crystals in my urine after a round of antibiotics. Is that a question or a statement? I would not do carnivore strict two years. It's a really great strategy for the short term and then get off. Crystals in your urine? Oh, your kidneys are pissed. That's what it'll, if you're having a hard time, maybe with uric acid, I don't know, I'm guessing because I haven't spoken to this person. You're welcome, Chase. Um, but I'm like, the reason why I think I'm going to go now is because I got to pee. Darn, I just bought a barrel full of coffee at Child. Dennis O'Connell, no. It's just not good. You guys trying to dap, fax your blood sugar up, dehydrate you. It's got mycotoxins on it, glyphosate, lowers your L-tyrosine, serotonin, melatonin. Messes with your secretory IgA mucus lining. I mean, it messes with your blood pressure. It's just nasty shit. Makes your blood sugar dysregulated. Can't sleep well. It's just nasty. Dehydrate you. This is with your thyroid. But enough said. Car streams. Stuff's in the hizzy. It's, it's, I don't even, oh, it's seven. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go feed my horse. And then I gotta go and put away all the stuff that I got out of storage. I was like, I need my exercise bands. Or uh, exercise all the time in my RV. Thank you everyone for joining today's live stream. Appreciate you guys. And uh, let me see, I'm getting rid of my Nespresso Good machine, which makes it so fast and easy to make me. Exactly. Just get rid of it. Vivian says, thank you for your precious time. Thank you, Vivian. Thanks for hanging out. And everybody, don't forget to like up the stream. There's 45 people here. What diet should you do now? Keto omnivore. If you don't have a gallbladder problem. Late, I can tell it was a good one. Uh, Yeah, it was good. You can watch the replay. But, uh, yes, okay, we got a couple more people liking. Come on. I I don't check to see who's liking you guys. No one's going to go and see, oh, you know, she's, uh, so she saw me like it. I don't want her to see that I'm liking up the stream. It just helps that stupid algorithm. Kirsten says, Stephanie, you are amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Marvina gives me a bunch of thumbs, a bunch of brown thumbs. Thank you so much. Thank you back, guys. I got some energy, energy, energy. Done keto almost friggin' 15 years straight. Well, it's 14 years, but it's almost 15. Mm. Wow. And um, no cheating, not once. And that is the reason why at 54, I don't look like my mother. Not my mother, not, not my mother, but like, um, 
like, like as if I'm, well, I'm old enough to be somebody's mother. I don't look like a grandmother. How about that? It's coming up. I put, I put my birthday on my like Instagram. So check it out on Stephanie Ketogenic. All right. I gotta pee. Thank you, you guys. We'll keep talking. I'll keep, I'll maybe like, why are you waking up in the middle of the night on keto? Let's talk about some ADH, some antidiuretic hormone that you're lacking in and why you're losing ADH. But I gotta go. Bye, guys. Energy. Peace.